Hello and welcome to this video. Now I was thinking about these amiibos and how I could interface to a game that wouldn't normally use them. And here we have Super Mario 64. So I have here Super Mario 64 running in Project 64 and a program I wrote. And down here I have an NFC reader. So watch what happens. I'm just going to go in. So Silver Mario looks a bit like Metal Mario. It's turned into Metal Mario. And it's not just that he's changed to Metal Mario, he still has the timer as if you've got the cap. And what about Yoshi? This is the uh, yarn one. He's got the amiibo on his foot. Increase his lice. Six, seven, eight. There we go, interfacing Amiibo to Super Mario 64. So how does this all work? Well first let's look at the Amiibos. Now there's absolutely loads of these, but essentially they are just NFC smart cards. The NFC reader I have here, I got some smart cards with it and I use MyFair technology. Same technology but a different version of a smart card used in the Amiibos. Each Amiibo has a seven digit unique identifier, so you know this is Silver Mario, this is Yarn Yoshi and so on. So what my program does, it continuously checks to see if there is an amiibo on the reader. If you can see on my program it says it's detected Silver Mario and then it gives the UID. You might have to view this in HD to see that. So the program continuously checks and if it detects an amiibo it looks it up in a simple database if you will and says oh it's Silver Mario and then it performs some kind of essentially a code, a game shark code but it can be a lot more complicated than normal game shark code because what this program actually does is write to project 64's memory if you saw i did a program what a video about this super mario 64 hardware outputted hard values from project 64 to this display this time we're doing it the other way we're putting values into project 64 uh, based on actions from my program that is the amiibo so similarly with yarn yoshi it will come up uh, detected Yarn Yoshi and the um, UID. Interestingly, apparently, Rare were developing Amiibos for the N64, so it's quite uh, interesting that I came up with this idea and then found that out when I was doing some research online. But that is basically it, and it's just an NTSC and PAL uh, selection, depending on what ROM you're using. Now, a few other things. You may have noticed that sometimes it didn't react to Amiibo. It's because there is a second delay, about a second's delay waiting. Um, so as long as you hold down the Amiibo long enough, it will detect it. And I'm not sure how fast this reader reacts either. So like with case of Yoshi, you have to hold him down long enough and then it will update. Of course, it's not gonna update when it's paused anyway. But that's just something I wanted to point out. I can improve the timing on the program, it's just a, a demo really um, to show that it's possible. And this can be interfaced to all sorts of other software. In theory you could do it on a real N64 but it would be a lot more difficult of course because you need to some way interface the NFC reader to the N64 and so on but not impossible. And of course you can add support for other Amiibos, I have Silver for Mario, Yarn Yoshi, you have li uh, Link as well. Um, and you could do a lot more complicated things even like possibly download a new character to the game but you know you'd have to model the character animate and so on but it's all very possible uh, thanks for watching comment suggestions please subscribe and all that um, maybe you've had a similar idea maybe you want to see me interface in Super Mario 64 in, in the other ways um, I do have more information on my site as well and thanks for watching that's bye for now bye